Set to go for the sixth race. Breeders' Crown Elimination for $75,000 and start of the pick four. Here they come. And they're off and trotting Nikki Cole Cole and the Catman firing that one out. Plesak from the inside with early step. Count the goal and Monty Hall from the inside as Magician takes back here around the first turn. And it's Nikki Cole Cole to the front by two. Plesak second. A count the goal settles in third. Monty Hall is fourth. Super Grit goes up on the outside into Whip Urging and Magician will follow him on the move up from six now. Fool's Goal looks to take out from seventh and it's Dream Vacation, Dr. Ron a rail and anklet Hanover at the back opening quarter 28 and 2 not very fast here as Nikki Cole Cole now gives it up to Plesak Plesak and Eric Ledford plants that one up front now super grid is trotting on second on the outside looks to be parked out here Nikki Cole Cole is third gap at two the magician is fourth on the outside and gapping as the pace accelerates count the goal is fifth now three lengths and fool's goal on the outside six Monty Hall is seven dream vacation is eighth with Dr. Ron a rail and anklet Hanover in the half 55 and 2 27 seconds in that second quarter Plesak steps it up here it's Plesak brutal first over journey super grit's been parked out Nikki Cole Cole in the pocket magician fourth on the outside as they approach three quarters count the goal riding the rail at fifth and needs racing room now fool's goal sets up a three wide rally there goes magician circling up and dream vacation has trod and he is looking to fan out from far back doctor on a rail 124 and one good rating again from Lair Eric Ledford here and it's Plesak opening up by three it's Plesak Taking off, Nikki Cole Cole is full out. Magician also full out. Between horses count the goal. Up on the far outside comes Dream Vacation down to the finish. And it's Plesak being urged on here. Plesak getting a little leg weary, but he has enough. It's going to be Plesak at 153 and 2 over Nikki Cole Cole. Flying late was Monty Hall and Dream Vacation on the outside, 153 and 2. Close. I actually wanted to be in the two hole, but. Uh, the way it unfolded, I was going to get stuck in the three-hole, and uh, I had to make a move back to the front. Okay, some people say elimination races aren't interesting or don't necessarily go fast, but 53-2, and two, was he well within himself finishing? Yeah, he was real strong. Uh, I got away from him a little bit when we turned for home, and, and he kind of got out by himself. Any uh, anxious moments during the race? No, not really. Uh, he, he was strong. The uh, second quarter was a little tough, but uh, he was strong throughout the mile. Is he versatile enough if he had to to win from off the pace, too? He seems to like it up front. What about if he was forced to come from behind? Yeah, he, he can do it anyway. Uh, I raced him toward the front tonight. Uh, they put up 80000 to get him into this race. Uh, I thought it would be nice to get a little bit of the back going into next week. Okay, Eric Ledford. John Butenshan, you've been with Plesak from day one. Uh, are you surprised that he's in his second supplement? Last year you supplemented him at a break, and now you tried it again, and you've got some of it back already. Yeah, that's great. Um, the owner loves this horse. He wanted to give him a chance to see if we could compete nationally. Uh, it's the money that the Police Act has earned. You, one year we can get another horse like this again. I may never train one. He may never own one. I mean, it's it's wonderful. It's great to be here. It's great that we got a shot to do it. Second time Lasix. Uh, what was the story behind that? Um, when he got out here, we scoped him a few times, and he had a little bit of mucus. I don't know if it's a different air quality from what he's used to at the farm where we're at. Um, we do keep him at a farm here. And then after he, I didn't think he finished as strong as what he should have because a couple horses come from behind and got past him, and that just isn't him. Scoped him, and there was a little bit of blood. We thought about uh, supplementing him. There's no way you can... Uh, supplement them and know that there's a possible problem so you got to have the horse as good as he can be um, I don't like putting a horse on Lasix but uh, we did it and uh, hopefully it'll pay off next week we're going to see you here right here in the winter circle oh that'd be great <laughs> I'd be probably doing somersaults across the finish line or something I'd just be nuts <laughs> okay John Boonshine congratulations the connections at Police Act we'll look forward to seeing the $80,000 supplement give his best next week in the final